Hey guys, it's Elise and I am back. Not back in the kitchen, but I'm back here on YouTube. So I'm gonna be posting here on My Cupcake Addiction now on the first of every month. And it's gonna be different types of videos whilst I get my kitchens up and going to film in. If you've been following me on the sweeter side, you'll know that I've moved to the Aussie bush and it's been not quite as smooth of a transition as I would have hoped. I don't like to work in the mud. But I'm back on my feet. I've got all my filming stuff unpacked and today I'm doing a really fun video that I'm shooting outdoors. I'm gonna show you guys the top foodie related gifts that I've been collecting on my travels. I'll leave links down below if you wanna buy any of them, but with Mother's Day approaching and let's face it, foodies everywhere, these are just some really good gift ideas or suggestions to buy for that foodie that loves to cook or for yourself, just to, I don't know, make the kitchen a bit more fun. First up, we've got a ravioli spoon rest. So I know that you've probably seen a spoon rest before, maybe you've got one, maybe you don't, but this is like a giant sized pillow of ravioli and it's perfect for resting your dirty spoons on because it's like kind of dipped in the middle, it catches all of the mess and it's just like fun. Doing the dishes is not anyone's favorite job, but these awesome dish play washing up gloves by Fred make it just that little bit more fun. Oh, do you want some help washing up the dishes tonight? Oh my God, yes, can I put my feet up and have a glass of wine? Will you do them for me? Uh, oh, thanks baby, so lovely. This is also a really fun one for getting the kids in the kitchen, because if they can have a bit of fun, hopefully they'll also do a bit of work, hopefully. All right, so these toucan kitchen shears caught my eye because A, they look like toucans, which is just fun, but they have this cool little protective sheath which stops them from getting blunt in the drawer. And then they've got magnets on the back so you can magnet them to the fridge and they kind of become a decoration. And there's the added bonus of a bottle opener just in case you need. So this one here is an I Stuck Chewing Gum Phone Holder, again by Fred. I love the Fred brand. So this one you lick and stick on both sides and you stick one bit to the back of the phone and the other bit to the table and it'll hold your phone in place while you read recipes or watch movies or catch the latest My Cupcake Addiction video. I don't need to tell you guys the perils of tears and chopping onions and I have had some success by storing my onions in the fridge. Seems to make them a little less teary, but these onion glasses are supposed to look, I mean, incredibly fashionable, but also to stop the onion gases getting into your eyes. So there should be no more tears near the chopping board. I don't know, can I get away with these in Vegas? I mean, there's no onions, but they could just be fun to wear. You guys know I love a cactus. So these cactus coasters are super cool. They come in a pot and you basically build them up to make like a table centerpiece, but then everyone can just pinch off their own coaster and rest the cup on it and then stick it back on top once they're done. So it's kind of like a decoration, but also it's practical. So it's a centerpiece and it's practical and it also saves your benches and it's cactus. I know people are saying cactuses are out, but I'm still feeling them. Oh snap, the second I saw this mousetrap cheese board, I absolutely knew it was going in my Top Gifts for Foodies video and also into my cupboard. I love it. It's only a small cheese board, but it's absolutely adorable and it comes with a cheese slicer. So you can kind of put the whole block down and people can just slice off slices as they go. Just watch out for sneaky hands trying to steal your cheese. Now look, I've been collecting stuff like this for quite some time and I have everything to make another video like this for a foodie dude. So more like dude focused stuff. If you guys wanna see that, hit me up in the comments down below and I'll make another video for you. Lid lifters. So you know when your pots over boil on the stove top, it's generally because they need a tiny, tiny bit of air. But unless you've kind of like stuck them on a weird angle, you can put a wooden spoon across the top of them if there's no lid. But these little lid lifters, there's like a little sheep and a little chicken and a little pig. They actually kind of hang on to the side of the pot and they keep the lid just open so your pot shouldn't over boil. Boogie Bites, now these are just fun. They don't hold a huge amount of appetizers, but they're a really cute thing to have in the center of a table, fun for an 80s party or for people that I guess like to boogie. It's a little bit weird, like eating the head off a person. This is me in Vegas. Mm -hmm. oh. Still delicious. <laughs> and you just have a really, I don't know, leftover pick. I'm a sucker for a phone stand because I watch so many renovation and cooking videos online. So I love this little banana phone stand. I love it because it's a bit more stable than the chewing gum version. And I can stick my phone in it either portrait or landscape and watch whatever videos or tutorials I'm catching up on. Fondue moments for one. So this is a cute little mug with a tea light candle underneath. 
You can light it and add a couple of squares of your favorite chocolate and then dip in whatever you like. It's like the ultimate indulgence because sometimes you don't want fondue for two. You just want fondue for you. Now this guy, this is called a gurgle pot. It got given to me for Christmas. It's one of the funnest things I have in my kitchen and I have to show you how it works. So essentially this does the same thing as any like drink dispenser or drink jug, but it has a bit of a fun difference. So I'm gonna fill it with my juice. It's unique because of its shape. It's also very hampton -y, but you've got to listen to its sound. I'm going to do it close to my microphone so you guys can hear the gurgle. Okay, everyone quiet. So every single time you pour it, it makes that cool gurgling sound. It's very like Hampton style, so it goes with like modern decor. Yes, it's a giant fish, but it is so cool and it just keeps on gurgling. People laugh. This is a happy fish. I love this pot. This is probably my favorite of all gifts. And then finally, all those beautiful pages you've been seeing decorating the corner of this video is my Sweet Celebrations cookbook. So if you are looking for an awesome gift for a foodie or for Mother's Day, don't forget we've still got that for sale. I will leave a link down below. In other news, I'm also back on Instagram so you guys can follow my adventures. I'm going to be in Vegas next week at Vegas Uncorked and then in Palm Springs for Clamacon and then Disneyland. So it's a pretty fun week. I'll be posting all of that on my Insta stories and I'll either be posting on My Cupcake Addiction or on Elise Strawn. If you guys want to follow all of my Aussie bush adventures and oh my god there have been some adventures make sure you subscribe to the sweeter side I'm trying to post there once a week and it's all about home renovation DIY and moving to the country go and eat me a lot of beaches have an awesome day you guys I hope you found a foodie find here and there is still time to order for your mum before Mother's Day